Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun advent pocket letter. So I think it was about maybe three months ago now I made a pocket letter. Um, these are something that's been going for many, many years and it's just evolved from pen poweling, which I used to do, you know, as a child. Um, and basically you just send gifts, you know, crafty gifts or just any kind of gifts to your pen pals and they've just become a bigger thing now so they are pocket letters so people will, you know, have little plastic sleeves with pockets in them and you can have, you know, whatever you want in them so people, if it's crafty kind of pocket letters then they have ribbons and embellishments and things like that inside of them, you know, um, others will send gift cards and just all sorts. I mean, I've seen ones that have just had scratch cards in all of the different pockets or they've had just nice little messages so that people can, you know, open each pocket and there'd be a nice little note for that person. So there are hundreds and hundreds of variations of pocket letters, but I like to obviously do things that everybody can do. So you don't need to go out and buy the plastic wallets. This is all done using cardstock. So I will link up here the one that I done which is just the nine what was it three six nine I think it was the nine pocket pocket letter this is an advent one so I've done 24 now you can you can add the 25th but we've never had one on Christmas day as children our advents have already always been 24 days so it's entirely up to you if you want to have one with the 25th on but this one is just 24 so it's this long kind of I guess um wrap you know, it's like a little pouch and I've got these really nice little kind of uh, snow globe charms hanging. All the paper is from Jolly Holidays first edition paper pack, which I'll show you in a minute, but how cool are they? Um, and that's the same paper here. I've got this little Merry Christmas tag with some ribbon, these huge bells, which I absolutely love with this um, baker's twine here. And then basically you just open it up. So the idea is, is that you can post this. Obviously it's a long length, but it's, it's, it's postable. Other pocket letters, the clear ones, they fold kind of like this and then you can fold them in half again so you can fold them down even more but they are bulky they're not supposed to not be so don't you know look at this and think oh well it's too thick that is how they're meant to be okay so you open it up and you've just got your page here now this is where you could have your 25th okay so you could add another pocket another envelope here now you open it up open it up and open it up <laughs> so there are 12 pockets on this side here and then if I flip it over there are 12 on this side. Now I've just got to finish this one here, but I'll do that as I'm making the other one because I'd run out um, and it is so fun. Now also on this one, I haven't put numbers on, so I haven't got one to 24. I just left it so that person can just open whatever one they want. Now I've still got a few more to fill, but if I just open some of them up to give you an idea of what's inside. So you, you generally want to put in things that are flat that aren't going to create too much bulk. So in this one here, here we go. I've got all those lovely butterflies. So those plastic butterflies that I always use on a lot of my 3D paper crafts, my gift boxes and gift bags, I've popped those in there. Now they do need to go in a little plastic um, kind of pouch. So I will sort that out again later. Then this one here, I've got these little wood veneers. So these are happy and birthday. So again, they're both in there, put that one back. Um, this one, I've got some other little wood veneers. These are nice little, these kind of like Russian dolls you can see there. Um, what's this one here? Some bunting, I think this is. Again, I'm waiting for the little plastic um, envelopes to come. Uh, oh yeah, little bunting, there's lots of them in there. So that's that one. All with Velcro dots. This has got ribbon bows. You can see them all in there. There's about eight or nine in there. I did put quite a few. Um, this has got lots of little like ephemeras, so little cutouts. Yay! Let's celebrate. Let's fiesta. All those in there. So it is. It's just. It's ways to just send nice little swaps to your crafty friends. Or like I said, if you've got family and you want to do this, you can put a gift card in them, and you could put, you know, like I said, a little scratch card in them. You could put a five pound note in, you know, different ones. It's entirely up to you. There are so many ways. That's just a nice little card, message card. I've got some embellishments in that one there some enamel embellishments so yeah you can see you get the idea so for those of you that have never done this before 
this is my paper version of a pocket letter. But if you type in pocket letters, um, you will see, and there's lots of pocket, like a pocket letter swap groups on Facebook, which I'm a member of as well. So they're always nice if you want to, you know, it's a nice way to make friends, just like pen paling. So it's really, really fun and I do love doing it. But this is what we're gonna make. So it's very, very straightforward and the back obviously just rolls around and then that all seals up. Now I've changed the scoring on the one I'm gonna show you just to allow for that bulk a little bit more, but I just think it's really, really lovely. So this is the paper pack. So there we go, Jolly Holidays, which you've seen lots and lots of times. Let me just pop that over there. Okay, let's pop that to one side. Right, so I've already gone ahead and done a lot of um, the envelopes because you don't need to watch me fold 24 envelopes. So I've already done 23 of them, I believe, and I've already matted them all on the white cardstock, put the Velcro dots on them. It's all ready to go and I will stick them all down in a moment. So just pop them all to one side and that's my topper for the last one. So this is, this is, mine is like a metalized paper. So it's very, very thin mirrored paper. Now I did get this in a shop in China and I did share a picture um, a, a couple of weeks ago of the shop that I get this from. So unfortunately it's unbranded. I can't tell you where you would get this, but any nice paper to make your envelopes will work. And what you could also, also do is do your envelopes in white and then cut some triangles of gold or something and stick on the top there, like on that top kind of one and decorate them that way. But you are gonna need 24 pieces that are five and a quarter, five and a quarter square. Okay, so that's for your envelopes. Then to make the actual pocket letter itself, let's get rid of that piece there, don't need that. Okay, so you need a piece of 12 by 12. All right, so that's gonna be our main, one, two, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, that's 18, and then this gives you 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So one piece of 12 by 12, and then this piece here is five by 12. Now I've got different colors, non-traditional Christmas, but because of these papers here from the pack, They've got all those colours in and it just matches perfectly. But these are to decorate. This is your kind of front, your flap, the, the closure as such. This is three and a half by 12. So two pieces of whatever pattern paper you want. And then this piece here is a piece of three and a half by 12. And this is just gonna stick on the top and kind of disguise where we're joining the um, pocket letter. Cause it's gonna actually join, if I get it right like so okay like that okay you want to score at three eighths of an inch okay seven eighths of an inch four and three eighths of an inch four and three quarters of an inch eight and a quarter of an inch and eight and a half inches okay then rotate the cardstock and you want to score at four and eight Okay, then grab that piece that is five by 12 and you're gonna score at, find my score line there, five eighths of an inch and one and three eighths of an inch. And then again, rotate your cardstock and you're gonna score at four and eight, okay? Then with that other piece, which is the three and a half by 12, we just want to score along the 12 inch side at four and eight, okay? Now these score lines at four and eight that I've done on all of the pieces, they're not, we're not gonna burnish them, they're not actually gonna be folds, they're just there really decoratively to just kind of show where each of these are. So once you make it, you may decide you actually don't wanna do those score lines, but once it all comes together, you'll see what I mean, and you can obviously make your mind up if that's what you wanna do. And what you wanna do is burnish all of the lines, so you've got your, you, the that's the four and the eight, and then pop it back that way, where you've got all of these other little score lines, that's the right way up. You don't wanna score, like I said, you don't wanna burnish, sorry, the four and the eight. So all you're gonna do is burnish all of these score lines here. So I'm just gonna fold all of those. Okay, so that's that piece. And then on that five by 12 piece, again, just do the long score lines, not the 
like I said, the short four and eight. And then that piece there, we're not gonna burnish anything because we just wanna keep those lines as they are. Okay, next what we're gonna do, so you'll have this piece with those two score lines there. The plain side is the side we're gonna be sticking down here. So on this left-hand side, the far right, you should have plain. It's the left-hand side where you've got these score lines. The very first one, this one here, is where we're gonna stick that one over like so. Now you can stick it on the top. Actually, yeah, you wanna stick it over that one, because I've just remembered that one is then gonna go over the top to conceal it, okay? So you get a perfect join. So I'm just gonna add some of my wet glue. Okay, so just put the glue along that, the smallest of those tabs, that score line, and then just line that score line up with the edge of this pink card. Like so, I'm just gonna flip that over and make sure I get that nice and lined up. And it should be completely flush with the top and the bottom because obviously it's 12 inches. If it's a little bit out, for some reason that is, but they're all from the same pack, I can just trim that. Although the pattern paper that goes over the top will probably disguise it anyway. But you just want to make sure you've got a really nice join, like so. And then this pink piece, like I said, is going to go over the top and it will, you've got the two score lines here. It will sit within that second score line, so this one here, and then join up to that green score line there. So you're basically hiding, this is your tab on the green there, you're hiding that, so it just gives you a really nice finish, like so. I was just looking at ways to really, I wanted to try and get 24 squares without obviously having to use tons and tons of cardstock, so uh, yeah, this was this is my way of doing it, and um, like I said, once you've done it and you've seen my other one, you may want to just do a 12 pocket, 12 day, so like the 12 days of Advent, um, then use my other one that I've done. Because it's a, you know, it's a really nice idea. But an Advent pocket letter I thought is a perfect way to send nice little gifts at Christmas time to your crafty friends, but also those family members that you may not see. Um, yeah, I just think it's, it's nice, it's unexpected. So there we go, and then again, just twist that around and just sit that perfectly over this. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is this side here folds, then folds, and you'll see each of these, so this is 3 eighths of an inch, this is then four, uh, quart, that's a half, and that's 5 eighths, and then that is 3 quarters, so that each one can then hold more bulk as it goes. So then that very last one, you'll see at the moment, because there's nothing in it, but you've got a nice, that's basically your spine, that side there. So now with this, pink, flip it over, this pink outer piece here, this is your tab, you're now going to stick these pieces. So one piece is going to go over the top, like so. All right, so I'm going to run my glue all down this one here. Okay, and then just sit that one over the top again, just lining it up with the score lines, and then you'll know it's all nice and straight. And again, because it's all 12 inches long, it should all be the same. I've got way too much glue there, like so, and then flip it over. And then the other piece is going to go on that side. And again, just perfectly line it up with that score line, just like you did with the green and it just conceals everything. So now you've just got this perfect continued, continued piece of cardstock and you shouldn't be able to see any joins. So add the glue onto this piece or that's entirely up to you. I'm gonna do it on this one. Okay, so now when you turn that over, so again, that will go in, 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 and then over. And I just think that feels so much better than this one where I didn't have such a large spine there. Can you see the difference on the side? So I still like this one, it's still got a really nice feel to it, it feels a bit like a junk journal, traveller's notebook kind of feel to it. Um, this one here, I just think, is going to allow now for that kind of bulk. So I'm going to round my corners here, just on that top piece, like so. So I just think, again, that just, it's just nice, and if you're going to be posting it, it just, it will, you know, it's less likely to damage your edges. Okay, so... They are now all ready to fill with these envelopes. So you can see now every single one of these is just going to fill and 
how fun do they look? Now I fussy cut all these pieces from again one of the paper packs which you've seen me do with a lot of the Jolly Holiday um, papers because they are just so fun for that and I've already put all the Velcro on these but you can see there so these are like I said I'm so glad I've sat down put a movie on and just went and folded and cut all of my envelopes but that's how it's going to look and I just think that is lovely for someone to open and just have all these pockets but by all means you know go ahead and put numbers on them if you would prefer but I'm not going to I'm just going to leave them as they are because you know this can continue past Christmas it can be for the whole month of December for example so it's just a nice little way to send gifts that was more of my intention with it so to make these like I said you need a piece of a piece of five and a quarter by five and a quarter just check that was right yeah and then what you want to do is um, you're going to use your envelope punch board and you want to score it two and three eighths of an inch so pop in your card and then go along here to two and three eighths of an inch which is just there punch and score and then I like to rotate it all the way around and punch again I find I get more of a, a better envelope and then you just do them as normal. Now for anybody that hasn't got the envelope punch board or you don't know how this really works I will link up now a little um, to the video that I've done on how to make um, envelopes with the envelope punch board. So now you will then end up having something that resembles this final result here so you can see my one there. Now obviously you're going to do that 24 or even 25 times. I only now need to do one more which is nice and then you just fold in all of your side pieces here and then I'm just going to use a bit of my red tape take off the backing and fold that over and there is your envelope and I think my envelope punch board's quite old now I think the um, the punch part is I think I need to run some aluminium foil through it and just sharpen it but there we go so there's your little envelope then I've got some of my velcro dots here pop that on the inside Hold it down, make sure it sticks perfectly, like so. And then I've already got this one prepared. So all I've done is this is just a two inch punch. I just circled, um, punched a load of circles out and then I've just layered on top this little snowflake die, which I've done throughout all of them and then different parts from the paper packs. So this one's just a Christmas, a Christmas, a Christmas wish. Now I've had all of my envelopes portrait and opening out to the right hand side. Again, it's entirely up to you. So I want that to be this way up because that's how it's going to stick in. So I'm just going to add, again, I'm going to use the red tape because this is kind of a, a you know, a foiled um, paper. I'm just worried the glue wouldn't really stick. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of red tape like so. And then I can just position that over the top and then that will now all open up with a little envelope. Now the white cardstock that this is all on is a piece of three and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, so again, you'll need 24 pieces of that. I need to cut one actually, I seem to have lost. Oh, I think that's why I had that spare cardstock there. So I'm gonna cut a piece out, stick that on top and then stick them all over 24 squares like I said if you want the 25th then you can add an extra one in here on your side panel so I'm going to go and get them all stuck down okay so I've just been getting all the other bits ready so I'll just show you them all stuck down so now you will see when it folds out look at that it looks so good with that gold and the pink really really cute and then if I just flip it over there is the other side cool is that I love this and it's just it does work so much better having that quarter inch and then three eighths and then five eighths I think then three quarters whatever it was anyway but it does it just really now allows you know you to have all those bits and pieces in there so next is just down to decoration so I'm going to do a hole punch along here in the middle so I'm just gonna and line this up so we're going to come in about half an inch and I'm in the center like so and then I want to do it on the spine as well so I'm going to come down as far as it will no actually I don't want to go down that far in the middle but come down again it's about yeah about half an inch again I've come down there and I have some of this baker's twine so let's take off some of this and I'm going to pop this 
on here first. So just through the top. Oh, I just realised I need to do the eyelets as well. I'll do that off camera because I've done that enough times, you know what to do there. But you can obviously put the eyelets on this like I've done there, as you can see, on there and on there, okay? So that's that, and then what I've got, and what I've got, what I've gone and done. So these are all my fussy, pup bit, fussy cut pieces from one of the sheets. So whenever I get a paper pack, I will pull out the pages that can be fussy cut, and I will do loads of it, and then put it in a plastic thing like this, and keep it with the paper pack. Then throughout the whole time that you're using it, it makes it so much easier to just go into this and pull out pieces that you need to match your paper pack, rather than doing it each time. So I have these two here, and I'm going to create the same thing that I've done here, okay? So those are going to go on there, and then on the front I have this Jolly Holidays tag, which is going to come down like so, and then this bow is going to go at the top there. I think that looks so, so cute. And then this is going to go through this one here. It's quite a thick ribbon as opposed to the string that I've used, but I just love this pink stitched fabric ribbon, it's just so nice. So I'm gonna pull that one through carefully. I'm gonna have to add the eyelet because I don't wanna tear that, but I'm just gonna pop it like that for the minute. And I'm just going to have that about there. And then again, whenever you're using fabric um, bows and stuff, it's so much easier to use your hot glue sit that over the top there how cute does that look i love that and now that's ready obviously once i put the eyelet through but that will wrap around and again kind of tie you can have it hanging down i don't know if i'm going to be able to get my baubles through this one i may end up changing this ribbon but you'll see in the pictures anyway because i think that's going to be a bit much yeah i don't like that at all i think that will just hang down in fact no i'm going to change that completely <laughs> You won't see this. I will have to have another look at my stash, but I'm now going to sort out these bits here. Okay, so I've just stuck them down on some cardstock, and then I'm just going to quickly fussy, well, not quickly, I'm just going to fussy cut these, giving them that nice pink border. Okay, like so, and then I'm just going to pop them back on here again. I want to try and get two out of this. I didn't plan that very well, because I don't think I've got any more of this pink left. Let's see. Ah! don't think I'm going to be able to do it. In that case, I'm going to have to use white on one. Oh no, maybe I can, we'll have a look. But basically, you just want to sit it on there and then draw around it. This is just going to be the piece to go on the back to conceal the baker's twine, like so. So you'll see there, the baker's twine is just in between the two. Now you could really, there's no reason, actually. Let's have a little look. Why I can't stick another one. Yeah, how cool is that? Because then you won't see that lump. So I'm actually going to do two, like so. So I'm going to cover those, so yeah. So actually now, all you want to do is stick another one. So just do four of these and then we will just stick them back to back. So they are done. So I'm going to have one, again, I cut this string way too long. I always do that, I'm terrible for wasting ribbons and strings. But now I can pop some glue just inside like so and then just cover the rest of this in glue, like so. And then I'll just have to kind of touch them up, up a bit. But of course, you know, you can use die cuts and stuff for this, but I like, I like that homemade look. That's what I always go for with my crafting. So again, I can just tidy that one up around like so. There you go, really nice little charm. So I'm gonna do exactly the same again on this one, but I'm gonna do this one shorter. So cut that one. I'm going to stick that one on there. Okay, so that's it. There are my lovely little snow globe charms, which I just think are adorable. Really, really sweet. I've got that lovely bow there. And then this I'm going to change, which you'll see in the photos. But again, if I just open that up, it's now ready to fill with any flat gifts. So things that don't create too much bulk. Like I said, you can pop something on here and you can have your 25th day if you prefer. But I just think that is just such a nice way yeah of gifting lots and lots of little presents and it wraps all the way round and I just think it's a lovely gift so I can't wait to get these posted out to two crafty friends that I'm going to be sending these to and there is the other one 
all using the first edition Jolly Holidays papers and I just adore them. So check out my other pocket letter, la, 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 start again, check out my other pocket letter because you might want to do a slightly smaller scale one but they are very easy to adapt as you can see you know you can make this pretty much any size you want but that's what I do so I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye! Thank you.